Well, my brother Cheddar is speaking. He wants to bring the sea from Accra all the way down to the Ashanti regional capital of Kumasi. And according to him, he has seen some of these things happen on the deserts. He has seen the sea move all the way from wherever it is to Dubai. He has seen, my brother, my sister, deserts enjoy maritime activities, including bringing the sea to the people. My brother, my sister, he said this on Abusia FM right there in Kumasi, and many people have spoken against it. Many people are laughing, and many people, my brother, my sister, are also cracking up. My brother, my sister, people like Cheddar are political fraudsters. Political frauds. They have realized that the people's ears are so sweet. So they would always come back and tell you stories that you want to hear. But they don't truly mean good for the country. One lie Cheddar has told, and this lie is so monumental, so gargantuan. My brother, my sister, it has unseated all the lies that Baumia has told. Baumia, the king of lies, has now been defeated and he has been thrown away from the seat of lies. And Cheddar is now sitting on the seat of lies with just one gargantuan lie. From time immemorial, my brother, Kumasi people have always wanted the sea. We have had people tell us that politicians can promise you anything. Right from making a man become a woman, all the way down to a woman becoming a man, and all the way from building sky trains, my brother, my sister, and even turning a whole desert into a sea. My brother, my sister, now Chandra says that when you go to Dubai, it's a desert, yet they've been able to bring the sea there. What is the truth about it? It's not just about listening to something and coming out to condemn it or to just talk in support of it. It's about checking what the facts are. We know that Libya was nothing but a desert until Muammar Gaddafi was able to turn it into arable land. He did it. How was he able to do it, my brother? How did he do it in Libya? Is it true that the sea has been extended to Dubai? How did they do it? My brother, my sister, now we live in a country where Lavender Hill is still here. Lavender Hill is in need of serious dredging. The last time we heard about dredging, somebody was trying to scam Ghana of several millions of American dollars to dredge when another person a few years ago wanted to do it for free. My brother, my sister, now dredging has become a big business in Ghana. Cheddar is going to extend the sea all the way from Accra, all the way to Kumasi. How is he going to do it? Is he going to do underground sea? Is he going to fly the water in planes all the way to Amakom or Swami? What is he going to do? My brother, my sister, when you look at people like this, you know straight away there's one thing on their minds, political scamming. I look at Cheddar and I laugh. He has realized how gullible Ghanaians are. He's realized that when elections come, you sell your birthright votes to politicians. At the end of the day, my brother, my sister, a guy like this, comes out to tell you that he's so rich. And when you want to find out the source of his riches, he tells you it's not important. The most important thing is that he sold scraps and made millions. And when people try to go into it and ask him, oh, you sold scraps, how did you do it? He says, listen, don't ask me about how I made my millions. The most important thing is to watch what I can do. A man who is not ready to be accountable, a man who is not ready to tell you that this is how it is. He says he wants to rule you. Now he has come to tell you the joke of the century. That he will bring you the sea in Kumasi. And well-meaning Ghanaians 
are sitting down there and watching him. What a joke. If Cheddar had told us that he was going to dredge Lavender Hill to clear the place of debris, to be able to fix the place and the water would run cool, that would have been more credible. What do you think? What would Cheddar do if he has heard about Agenda 111? Agenda 111, my brother, my sister, failed from when it started. From Agenda 88, 88. It's become Agenda 111 because Ghanaians love promises. Baumia became the king of promise. At the end of the day, look at the mess they have put us in. My brother, my sister, the least said about Cheddar, the better. This is a political fraud. This guy is nothing but a political fraud. He would dredge the sea all the way to Kumasi. He's not even ashamed saying this. How are you going to do it? Can you tell us? How is it going to happen? Ghanaians, we have all become idiots right now. Any Tom, Dick, and Harry can come and sit in front of us and tell us lies. When they dream and wake up, they bring their dreams to us and make them look like real. What would you expect from a man who molests tigers? He will turn the whole country into a zoo and turn you all into animals. To God be the glory. Turn,